Hey everybody, Argent here. So this is what you've all been waiting for. I'm going to announce the results of the Great Game Giveaway. Um, I'd like to apologize to start off with because not everybody gets something. I did my best to try to make sure people got it. They put in multiple choices, at least something. Uh, there's a couple people who didn't get, um, I, I just couldn't find a slot for them. Uh, I will post a list of what I have left. And if you're one of the, I'll also post a list of people who entered but didn't get anything. So just post under this video and uh, whoever posts first can just get whatever's left. Also, if you're just watching this video um, normally and you want to post and ask for something, uh, be my guest. Um, I will uh, attempt to give you, uh, I, I, you can just take what's left. I'll give priority though to people who entered on the previous page. Uh, once again, sorry for not giving everybody any, every, uh, everything they asked for, but I only have a certain number of games to give out. So, yeah, I'll post the winners under here and I'll try to get in contact with you. So I'm just going to read through the winning comments and um, announce who wins. So the first winner is Batarez and a uh, longtime viewer, great guy. So he wins Resident Evil 6 and I'm just going to read his comment. Loved your video on applying to the minimum wage bookstore job. Not only made me laugh, but it's nice to hear someone else shitting on the modern job market and how ridiculous applying to a simple minimum wage job can be. Even coming out of a trade school which doesn't give, didn't even give me the minimum requirements for an entry position for some fucking reason. I'll take Resident Evil 6 if picked. And you get Resident Evil 6. So that's good. Okay, next winner on the list. We have Arbiter Libra, Libra, um, I'm probably mispronouncing it. Her video, the Bene Jesuit, Jesuit coverage episode, because you kept pronouncing Bene Jesuit. As you notice, I often pronounce things wrong, but it is what it is. Uh, I was also a great primer on a lot of things Dune that go beyond the order itself. Yeah, Dune is one of the series I'm kind of a fanboy of. Uh, I'm surprised to see you've done a decent number of Dune episodes, which is great game I'd like probably Resident Evil HD remaster so Arbiter Libera uh, you win that and I'll try and get in contact with you so let's see here next we have 819 gaming who asked for uh, ink and he's the only person who asked for it so he um, he wins it by default no I'm just joking my favorite video is the reaction review of Dracula because it made me laugh the most, but also thought-provoking. I'd like Plague Inc. Evolved so I could buy myself the Simeon Flu DLC. Sure, sounds good to me. Uh, so we have another uh, buddy of mine, Sanctum Fidelis. I'm probably mispronouncing all of these. Favorite videos, the Star Wars prequels. As a kid, I'd never looked at the Republic politically as you did during these movies. And even today, I would find myself have it, having difficult grasping the Republic's concept of a government. But you're right, the Republic became a libertarian fun fest with not even a standing army to get rid of slavery in their borders. Plus, Palpatine really did nothing wrong, and the Jedi were glorified hypocrites who pulls out of the game just as the going gets tough. Fuck you, even made me realize Anakin was based as hell and not just some creep everyone makes him out to be in these movies. Uh, thanks for that, that's a good comment. And you win, uh, you win Galactic Civ 3. So I'll try and get in contact with you and send you that. Uh, so Super 360, you win Resident Evil HD Zero Remaster. My favorite video is the embodiment of millennials as a lost generation. That really spoke to me as an individual. Love the videos. Keep it up, man. Thanks. Uh, next we have Anime Sturmman, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm, um, yeah. So let's see here. Uh, congratulations, I honestly didn't even have a YouTube account when I started watching you, but I was hooked since the Evangelion character profiles, and your insight on other characters in movies, even ones I, I hadn't watched myself, I enjoy listening to you talk about them. Um, I find my voice pretty cringy, personally. It's kind of funny, because a lot of people think I'm older than I, I am. They think I'm, like, in my late 30s or something, so they got me by 10 years. Uh, let's see here. Your inputs on live streams like Arany and Beckloff are is also great, and that's where I first found you. Yeah, I'd like to do more of that. Issue is, um, 
as I've said, to save money at the moment, I'm living with my parents, so I don't always have, uh, I guess, kind of free, you uh, like a quiet background to do those in. Uh, also, there's things like time zones and work hours, so that's kind of difficult. And Anime Straw Man, you win the Dark Souls 2 Scholars of the First Sin edition. So I'll try to get in contact with you. So let's see here. Um, let's see. Next, we have Sam McAdam. Uh, oh, baby, an empty box giveaway without the box. How efficient. Yep, all these DLC codes have been used already. My favorite video would be a toss-up between your character profile of Grand Admiral Thrawn. I'm glad somebody liked that. I put a lot of work into that one. It's always funny what stuff people like. I mean, it, it doesn't necessarily always look like I put a lot of work into my videos because I'm too lazy to do video editing and I'm too lazy to put clips in and, and stuff like that. It's very common, though, that I, I do read a book for them. Um, I do read a book or I do do a fair amount of background research and have, like, notes and that kind of thing before I get into that. I never got into the... Um, oh, and he mentions the DSP financial calculation. So that one was kind of controversial um, because people thought I overstated it. I think one of the issues was I forgot to convert everything from Canadian into American. And that was kind of one of the reasons it, it was too high. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to remember that some of the time, just because there is a pretty large difference in the uh, the dollar amount at the moment. Uh, plus, the issue, another issue is there's a general lack of transparency, so there's a lot of guesswork. I think, though, that my higher guessing is probably more accurate than some of the lower guessing, because he does make more money in a day on streaming than I do at my job. Uh, let's see here. I like be, uh, I like the Thrawn Winks. I never got into the Star Wars Extended Universe just because most of it's pretty bad. Like the CGI Clone Wars TV show. Although that, I think that's canon actually. Uh, just be, uh, let's see here. But this gave me something to look out for. Plus you, the way you explained how Thrawn thinks and acts felt very interesting for a villain. It also made me more pissed that at J.J. Abrams for choosing to make a shit-tier remake of Episode 4 rather than a Thrawn trilogy. I mean, the original Thrawn trilogy had a lot of issues with it. It had Mara Jade. Um, I don't think it probably would have made for good movies, but I think Thrawn being the main antagonist and kind of presenting a sympathetic empire in contrast to kind of a, a corrupt and inefficient republic would have made for a very kind of fascinating movie but they decided not to do that and make for shit as for dsp although i never liked him i did believe he was always tight on finances since he would always bring it up and i can see how being an unpopular youtube streamer could generate enough to live on your video crunching the ballpark numbers really helped put into perspective just how much a piece of shit phil really is to his fans to lie so often and consistently like that uh i'll take maze as my game of choice and you definitely win yeah the thing with um with dsp and money is it's hard to track but i think he's up to what like 250 subs at the moment and like that alone he gets half of the sub money on twitch so that's like 250 times two so that's like 650 dollars a month he gets just on subs not including bits, not including um, donations, not including Patreon, not including YouTube ad revenue. Like if you just do subscriptions and Patreon, that's like sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars, which is more than I get paid every two weeks. So the guy's not doing badly. And keep in mind that's American money, and he lives in a state with no income tax. So go figure. Uh, Alex Evensong. Uh, I'm just going to read his because I'm not going to read some of the people who loses just because I don't want to make them sad. But this is a good one. Uh, I'm a Linux fag, so I won't be able to take you up on the game. So I will discuss some of my favorite videos that you produce. That's very kind. Thank you. I enjoy your character analysis of Shinji Akari. The character always repulsed me since I saw him as weak and cowardly. Uh, essentially symbolizing everything antithetical to the hero virtues I admire. But you argued that Shinji showed an inner strength that none of the other characters could match. Since Shinji, Shinji wasn't away the only real person, and the others being empty actors with no real interior identity. My antipathy towards NGE wanes significantly after exposure to uh, your analysis of Shinji. I also like your reactionary reviews. 
Yeah, I try to always say something interesting. Um, if I sometimes say something that's kind of weird or kind of sounds like I'm stretching or bullshit, uh, sometimes what I'm, I'm just trying to make like an interesting point that other people really haven't made before. Because I think kind of the worst sin is to be boring. And I know I ramble on a lot, but it's it's the reason why I don't make more political videos and I make so many like just videos on like pop culture or movies or stuff just because I don't want to just make black pill videos all day but perhaps um my favorite video is the nature of the angels the nephilim and the old gods i've never noticed the parallels between the nephilim and the angels well i've come to my uh own interpretation of the angels specifically they are straight demons and that the evangelion units are the nephilim that's also a legitimate thing your take pushed me on the path of thinking of the series in a completely different light uh, my current opinions are still in an undeveloped stage but without your videos I would still probably despise it as an overappreciated artsy animation that spent 26 episodes in a feature film to tell us the revolutionary message that life was ulti ultimately meaningless. Um, yeah, it's Eva. I, I can like I don't dislike like I agree. It, it, Eva is kind of a, a very polarizing thing, and I under if people hate it then I completely understand it. Like, there's some movies I just think are good. Like, I think the the Christopher Nolan Batman movies are just objectively good. Uh, I think Dunkirk was an objectively good movie. Uh, as for... As for... Um, how am I going to say this? As for Eva, if people say it's boring, artsy, and pretentious, then I, I agree. I think that's a perfectly reasonable position to take. Um, if people say that a lot of people read too much into it and it's not nearly as deep as people think, then I think that's also a perfectly legitimate criticism. Um, unlike some things which I just think are good, and I'll argue that most that you should think, like even if you don't like them, you should recognize their quality. Uh, Eva is something I won't necessarily make that argument for. So, yeah. Okay, so next we have Volpis. Inocula, uh, in inculat inculata. Yeah, if you ever wonder why I can't pronounce things, um, I have a nonverbal learning disability, so I have trouble seeing the order of letters and words. It's almost a bit like dyslexia, so that's part of the reason why I can't pronounce stuff. Um, I like the pole sci po uh, pulse pole sci-fi videos the most. Yeah, that was a series I kind of been thinking about doing for a while. I know I start a lot of series, but I think it's easier to have, like, even if I don't do a ton of them, a series in the label. So at least you, like, know basically what it's going to be. Especially the ones on Doom because it got me into the franchise. Great. Anyone I can get into Dune, I, I like. I'm a big fan of Dune. Uh, not many other YouTube video uh, YouTubers do that kind of thing, at least in our circles. Yeah, I try to be unique. The comparisons between these fictional ideologies and their real-life inspirations or counterpoints is usually on point. Uh, that's good. For example, on the topic of fascism slash the New Order, that's one I'm actually very proud of. I, I think I did a really good job on that one. Uh, you are one of the apparently few who understands classical fascism and its uh, connections to futurism and so on, but I digress. It's just a good format all around. Thank you. That's extremely um, that's extremely kind of you. I, I appreciate that, Vulpus. And I'll, I'll try to be, I'll send you uh, that Stellaris as soon as I can. Ref Ref, you win NBA 2K17 because no one else asked for it. Uh, let's see. Uh, this suits my talents and gratitude, and so thank you. In short, a life-affirming channel. I, I, I kind of think of myself as being a downer <laughs> in general, but thank you for that. Uh, I hope for nonstop growth and years in happiness for you and your loved ones. Thank you, Ruff Ruff. You're a great man. I, I really appreciate that. That's extremely nice. Uh, Christianity, infinitely, infinity well, will in the West. Uh, the merits of the video itself, especially the synthesis of the love of God to his creation, the realities of being a Westerner. You pointed out that we are special in the eyes of God for our willingness to imitate his love of creation. You followed that by explaining that within our nature, our particular fall is that we seek to create because of our pride perfection. Uh, let's see. The merit in that is the way you've unified the universal fall of man and mentioned the way Westerners express and cope with it. A racial character is born within the framework of Christianity. I call that a nice shot.
from a Christian v version of Spangler. Well, that's what it was. I could go on, but I think you get the point. I think it uh, it it Renaissance mainly of you to have come up with it. Uh, I'm sure all the reading and effort behind the video was pretty large. I'll keep it short. Basically, I respect you for your achievements and character. Oops. Uh, that's uh, bug scrolling mechanics. Uh, let's see here. Uh, awesome channel. Keep it up. Thank you. That's extremely kind of you. Yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, for that one, I read a lot of... Uh, Decline of the West, uh, when, before I did that video. Um, the Infinity Will is kind of based on the Will of Fire from Naruto and Spangler's Infinity Will. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, Demiurge Creations, You Win Devil May Cry by default. I was interested in, on what your, uh, favorite animes of all time were. Thanks, I mean, I tried to include kind of some interesting ones there that doesn't always make a top ten list. Um, and your opinions of Eva and in general, it was just a good list and I enjoyed your video. Thank you. Introduced me to one or two names I haven't watched as of yet and added to my last list. I mean, my taste isn't the same as everybody, but I, I try to make it interesting at least. And I'll send that to you as soon as I can. I have to decide between Star Wars, Star Trek, and Babylon 5. In Star Trek, you focus on morality and the decision of the Federation, but I think you didn't criticize the whole plot enough. Oh, uh, that's a fair point. I mean, I think there's... A... My focus was kind of more on... There are a lot of problems with um, Deep Space Nine. I don't disagree. Uh, my focus was more just... I think it was... The purpose of the series was to try to test and say... How far can you go to protect the utopia of the Federation? Uh, Star Wars Government Review, I think you took too long to explain... Saying I take too long for things is pretty legitimate. I know I ramble a lot. The core of your story, uh, the story you explain is pretty good because Babylon 5 is about philosophy, not politic. The writer is an atheist, but he's kind of a universalist. Yeah, he's very respectful of religion, which is, is good by me. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you can overlook the whole plot that Centauri is Republic by, but ruled by emperor or actor and alien designed or horrible or the fact about coexisting the whole plot focuses on individual rather than the collective so you finish video with every core story and review uh there is nothing important left behind your video that bothers me at all uh okay so that's good and i will send you crusader kings 2 aka crusader cucks 2 and dead mice venom asks for pillars of eternity uh, I like a lot of your videos, but my favorite is about suicide. Ever since my friend's dad committed suicide. Wow, that's, um, I'm sorry to hear that. That's awful. Um, I don't know what to say. No one I know has ever committed suicide, but I can only imagine how awful that is. I've always, so I've always had the idea that people commit suicide because they don't want to put up with difficult things in life and are lazy. But your video showed me that the never-ending issues and pain that a suicidal person has and the reason most people often commit suicide. When you explain the never-ending pain and guilt of feeling worthless and the pain of feeling alone and left behind is something that I can relate to. After I saw your video on suicide, I could relate and not hate the actions my friend's dad did. And now I could talk about suicide in a more important way other than saying it's just people feeling down or it's selfish people escaping their own issues. And I want to thank you for that. Um, thank you very much. That's extremely kind of you. Um, I, I really do appreciate that. Um, that was That's what I try to do with depression. I, I think it's, it's something that people just don't understand. I think it is very, and I don't mean that as like a, a mean thing. I think it is very understand, hard to understand looking outside in. Uh, your video on Balverism, top 10 texts, you win Dead Rising 2 off the uh, the record. It explains the left most basic argumentative tactic. I also love your DSP videos. You have great commentary on him and try to look at him as a real human being and a real hero. You don't take what he does to uh, personally, unlike the podcast, which shall not be named, but I digress. Yeah, I like to a certain extent, I, I think DSP is kind of a tragic figure. I mean, he's a bad guy, don't get me wrong, but it's not like he's killed anybody or raped anybody or really done anything that negative for society. He's just kind of a random asshole on the internet, 
and just he's just I, I kind of just view it as a fascinating and tragic figure um and i like i make fun of him but i make fun of like a lot of people like um i like a rainy's a great guy but I, I do make fun of him from time to time because he, he is a character uh that doesn't mean i dislike him I, I like him very much actually not in that way but you know what i mean but yeah uh, Vathek, my favorite video would have to be the one you did on time preference with your view of It Comes at Night being a close second. Wow, I didn't think anybody liked my review of It Comes at Night. Uh, the video on time preference did a great job of explaining the concept in layman's terms, as well as its relation to homosexuality, depression, and, and the other social diseases infecting the, infesting the West. I heard people talk about time preference before, mostly in relation to the race question, but that was the first video I saw to actually break down the topic. The use of the homosexual birthday party was particularly disturbing and effective. Of all the games listed, I would like Brigadier Up Armored Edition, and you will get it, my good man. Game Sherlock, favorite video, better know a heresy. Early Christianity has always been something of an enigma to me, and your sober analysis of all the matters of fact was more than a little enlightening. My only complaint is that you neglected to continue. Um, I just haven't done a lot of Christian videos. What kind of happened was a couple people came forward and said that my theology was not very good and it kind of destroyed my confidence in it. So I should get back to that at some point. But yes, you win, Sherlock. So the people who entered but didn't win, uh, we have Trench Gun, Ravager's Prey, The Combo 233 Full, Will Galloway and Velstat the Royal Ages. So I'll punch a, I'll, bleh, I'll post a list of the, uh, the games that are left. So I'll post a list of the games that are left and you want to post under this video what game you want. Uh, of those that are left, you get first crack at it. For the rest of them, just, just post under this and you can take whatever's left. Um, I still got about uh, nine games left to give away. So I'll try to get those out and I'll talk to you guys all later.